Now it's time to assemble the tank. The first step is to apply a saturation coat with epoxy. When you assemble the tank, make sure and leave the fittings in place. This will keep any unwanted epoxy from getting into those threads. Then apply thickened epoxy to all the areas where there's going to be a joint. Then using stainless steel screws, you can screw the tank together. At this point, everything but the top should be assembled. Now we're going to apply an epoxy fillet to all the inside corners. This makes the tank strong and leak proof. The easiest way to apply the fillets is with a rounded stick. I like to use the round end of the mixing sticks that you can get from West Systems Epoxy. Next, apply thickened epoxy to the top edge of the tank. Then you can go on ahead and screw the lid in place. Now it's time to apply tape to the outside corners. Before we apply tape, we'll want to sand a slightly rounded edge on all the corners. That will allow the tape to roll around the corners easily. Once that's dry, you can lightly sand the entire tank. For a finished coat, we applied a two-part epoxy primer. This keeps it nice and tidy and looking good. Not only do we have a brand new tank that's smell and leak free, but we also doubled our capacity. See you back on the water.